Ok, ready. Good evening. Hello, Jorge. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Sure. We I, were we I, were missing you yesterday. I can I didn't. Or, or I can't. Right. I couldn't because that's the past I tense couldn't. of can. Right when you say the past tense of can, it's could. And if you don't do something, you say I couldn't. I couldn't do it. It couldn't connect in yesterday because the internet was awful. I imagine. Was it raining? Uh, right now, not. No, 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 yesterday. Uh, yesterday, yes, a lot of water. <laughs> a lot of water. Well, but at least San Miguel is not hot right now. <laughs> that, is yes. one, that is one benefit that you have. That it's not hot now. Hello, Tatiana. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are George. you? Fine. Mr. George. Mr. George. Todos somos George. So, uh, hashtag. Todos somos George. Sí. When I was when I was preparing the cards today, and I said like, "Hey, I'm going to use the cards." I said, "I remember." <laughs> Todos somos George. <laughs> and Mr. Nelson. <laughs> okay, George. George, George, George. Who's this one? George. And this one, George. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, hashtag we are all George. <laughs> so it's, you see, but you're very famous, you see. Yesterday they were asking, hey, George, George, and George was not here. We were Thank, missing you. Thanks by that. Yes, you see, they really appreciate you a lot. Yeah, Nelson is coming, you see? He's long life for him. Yeah. And Mr. Manuel, he has said, come. Ah, it's true. It looks like him. It looks like Mr. Manuel. It looks like him. Well, hello, Nelson. Welcome. Yesterday, hello, I finally... Hello. Hello. I finally had the chance to have the one-on-one -on -one with Marlene. Yeah, Marlene has, has been having a lot of troubles. Ah, carito. Teacher, but I think it's because the, the, the job. Yes, it's because of her job. And the thing is that she works in Antiguo, I think, and she lives in Ilopango. Yes, so, she works on... The traffic at that time think. is very hmm. difficult. Uh, look at look at the poor Carolina there in the 79. <laughs> <laughs> at least it's the one with air conditioning. <laughs> in the special. In the special. But... <laughs> As always. <laughs> always a special, never in a special. <laughs> That's good. Be <laughs> Hello. If if they say that my students are not ranger, huh? They haven't seen Carito. 
Ok, toda la gente del bus me pone atención, por favor. We are going to learn some English. <laughs> be careful, be careful. <laughs> Okay. El, el señor que está atrás va a ir viendo todo. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Carito, for being here. Thank you for connecting, Mr. Juan de Dios. Welcome. Thank you for joining this group of people. Okay. Ah, Mr. Nelson has a new look today. Sorry, I hadn't seen it. Voy a andar con un nuevo look, Nelson. Me llega. Desde de, de ayer. De, ah, pero ayer lo veía como algo oscurito. Por eso no. Ah, Ajá. Okay. But, but thank you for being here. Thank you, everybody, for connecting. Today, as I told you yesterday, we were going to work a little bit on the suffixes and the prefixes. I really appreciate Manuel, who took the time to send some images, and also Cristia sent a very good video, a TikTok, about learning English. It was a very good video, and it is real, right? Some of the most difficult things in English is believing that you can't and that someone else is going to do it better. And it is not like that. I mean, every, every single person has its own pace at the moment of learning. So uh, take the best advantage of every opportunity that you have to learn English, okay? To practice or to do anything, even if you have the chance to talk to someone in English, do it because it is going to help you a lot. Mr. Juan de Dios, welcome Olga and Diana. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Susie. <laughs> Look at Carito with the notebook there. <laughs> I admire her, definitely. Give me the notes. It's like, good. Hasta con cuaderno, va, Carito? Otro nivel, Carito. Me llega. Al compás de la música. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I, I really love your commitment. That's really nice and admirable. Well, let's start today. As I told you yesterday, we are going to work a bit on the topic of the suffixes. And I have some things ready for you to work. Okay, so I am going to share my screen for today. And we're going to start working on our class. So I hope everybody's fine and I hope the ones that are on the way home arrive soon because that's the most important part of everything. Okay, Mr. Jose Carlos, how are you feeling? Just better teacher. I already arrived home. Okay. But it's hot. I know, I know. But did you get the results of your test? Was it COVID? No? No, teacher, that wasn't Yay. COVID. Thank God, thank God, it's not COVID. I feel better. Like... Okay, very good. I am very glad to hear that, that you are feeling a lot better. Okay. Well, okay. thank you, thank you. Get comfortable and then we are going to see you. So welcome, my dear students, to our class number 23. Today, as I said, suffixes and prefixes, right? Let's remember a little bit on the agreements for our class. Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on all the time. Keep microphones off if you're not using them. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during the class. Collaborate in the WhatsApp group. Thank you for doing it. You did it very good. You did a very good job today. And for sure, work on the platform every day. And most of you already finished. I was checking it and we're going to see it in a moment that you have already finished your platform. Okay, highlights about your day. Was it there something specific that you want to share with the group about today? Something that you like, something that you enjoyed? Me teacher. Uh -huh. I'm happy today because finally we're in my in my job, uh, the account is 50% Spanish and the other 50% is in English. Uh -huh. So uh, today I have the opportunity to apply an uh, English account, uh, full English. So we are in a, we are going to have an assessment on the next week. So 
my boss uh, cho chose for some person or some people. Some people, uh -huh. Some people who think is going to reach the or who, who think is 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 improve he, uh, the English. Improving the level of English, uh huh. Yes. So I am one of that person, and I think the next week I'm going to have a a test, and after that I think I'm going to be in a full English account. Hey. Congratulations, Tati. Hey, I feel very glad for that, right? You see, good effort is going to bring a lot of rewards. I think I feel very happy. And not only because we have been practicing a lot and everything, but I have seen that you have uh, improved indeed because you went over the barriers of the fear. And once you started like going more and talking and talking and participating more, you have been improving. I know, and I am more than sure that you are going to get it. The best of luck. And as I always say to my students, don't allow nervousness to steal success from you because you are already a winner and that position is for you. Congratulations. Yes, I'm, I'm nervous. I, I really feel nervous because uh, I have another coworkers. They are in the, in the same, uh, in the same situation so uh, I don't know I think it's, it's, it's important because I haven't practiced my English since I don't remember but <laughs> and, I, and I didn't know it, this is going to, to happen yes so you see well as I know in this like talent attraction and this preparation for people to go and work in a call center and the best thing that I can recommend you is that you feel confident at the moment of speaking. Because in many of the cases, I have a lot of students, for example, that they are very good in English, but they feel nervous and they fail because of the nervousness. And I mean, you have to be confident, like hey, I have been preparing, I am doing this, I have been working on that a lot. And for sure, you are going to get uh, the opportunity. I am going to send you some questions for you to practice that are like the most common ones that they ask in the call center. <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yes. And so everybody can practice as well. Hey, congratulations, Tati. Congratulations on that very good news that you shared. Okay, someone else who wants to share something nice that happened on his or her day? Alguien más que le haya pasado algo chévere este día? O que solo lo querramos compartir? Good luck, says Diana on the chat. Uh -huh. Mr. Jorge. Uh, my, my day teacher was kind of boring. Uh, I was looking for a, a, a travel. I want to go, I don't know, maybe Panama the next week. And then I was looking for the- Hey, you were looking for the flight. The, the ticket, the- The flight, you say. I was flight. looking for the flight. Well, congratulations. I hope you find a very good and cheap trip, right? Affordable. And I hope that you enjoy the trip as well, right? Yeah, uh, that- that is some kind of difficult because it's, it's expensive. Yes, most of them are expensive, right? Only if you find a bargain and you say like, hey, I want it. <laughs> and then you go and get it, right? Yes. Okay. Very good job, Jorge. I hope that you have a very nice trip. Have you ever been to Panama before? No. It will be your first time. Yes, in Panama, yes. And on a plane? Yes, in a plane. So several times. Okay. But, but to Panama, no. Okay. Or well, Mexico, maybe. Oh, to Mexico. Well, Panama, Panama is really beautiful in Mexico as well. It's very colorful. No me ha pasado para ser bonito. To go to Mexico, right? 
I know Panama, it's very beautiful, but Mexico, I don't know it yet. I hope you enjoy your trip. Okay. I know Me Mexico, uh -huh. but I know Mexico, but Veracruz. Ah, only Veracruz. Yes. Yeah, I, I only I only know Mexico just over it and when I pass by <laughs> by by Mexico, but I didn't stop there. Well, thank you for sharing. Mr. Juan de Dios, we were missing you yesterday. Any highlights that you have for us? So the teacher. Hello. Repeat, please. That we were missing you a lot yesterday. Do you have any highlights for us? Uh, for today, no. For yesterday. Um, yes, I was in a, in a, in a dinner with, with my co-worker because um, um uh, a co-worker he has been promoted oh. to, to work in the US and we were uh, we, we were uh, celebrating his his promotion. Hey congratulations for your co-worker. She's going to to leave or fly this Saturday. She's it, going to, yeah, she's was going the to leave. last day in, in the plant. Oh, okay. Well, well, congratulations. You see, good things are coming. And if you continue doing your effort, soon we are going to say, you see, Juan de Dios is traveling to the US to work, right? Juan de Dios is traveling to Mexico, to Panama to work. Well, congratulations. Keep doing your best effort. I always say, and they make fun of this, but English for yeah. sure is going to open a lot of doors. And not only because of the push and, and <laughs> it was like Hale and Puhe, not only because of that, but it's going to open yeah. a lot of opportunities and that it's really, really fantastic. Well, now that we are sharing good things and good news, I am going to share one for me. You know, next month I am traveling to Arkansas to represent El Salvador in a teaching excellence a scholarship, right? I am- Congratulations. Congratulations. Yes, I am. I have been fighting for this. I have been working a lot for this scholarship uh, for two years. And uh, I am representing, I was chosen to represent the country there. And there are 168 teachers from all over the world and I am going to be the one from El Salvador. So. We miss him, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to take all of you there. I am going to take some pictures of you and I'm going to show you there. It's like, ah, oh, is, these are the students that I work for. And I'm going to share all the things that I do. How do I do it? My experience and all that. So now that we are sharing good news, I said, I am going to share this with my class. You can so, do a, a WhatsApp group to, to teach us. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I will. From there, from Arkansas. <laughs> I am going to, to do it there. I am coming back for sure. I mean, I am not going to stay and live there because I have to come back and work in my country because that's the purpose of the scholarship, right? To go uh, learn, study a lot, and then to come back and continue working here. So I would be more than glad to, to come back and tell you how everything was there. So I wanted to share my my highlight of the day. Thank you. Thank you for your good good willing and a lot of uh, uh, support because I'm going along. <laughs> I am going to be traveling along. But I know I am going to be chatting there. Ahí le voy a mandar fotitos. <laughs> traveling. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Well, I wanted to start the class by having a little bit of a group discussion, and you are going to do this in mini groups. I have here six, eight questions, right? I have eight questions, and we're going to discuss them as a group, right? The first question is, who is the most famous person you have met or seen? That is the first one. Who is the most famous person in the world? Who is the most famous person from your country? 
What would you like to be famous for? ¿Por qué le gustaría a ustedes ser famosos? What are the downsides of being famous? The downsides is like the bad part, right? What are the benefits of being famous? And the next one is like, if you could have a dinner or a drink with any living person, who would you choose? With any person in the world, right? Which famous people living today might still be remembered in 100 years? So those are the questions that I have. You can choose either one of them or all of them, and you can discuss them together. Do you have any question about the questions before I send you to work together and discuss? If you don't understand one of them or something? No, it's okay, it's clear. It's clear, all of them are clear, right? So, okay, so you can choose either one question or all of them. I am going to send you to working groups uh, of three because uh, so you can participate more then you can do it a little bit faster, okay? So uh, I'm going to send the invitation right now. So you can work in the mini groups. And here we go. Yeah, groups of three and four. There you go. I am going to send you the questions as well on the chat. Hello, Silvia. We are working in groups right now. I am going to send you to work in one of the groups. I sent some questions to the WhatsApp group for you to discuss them in the mini groups, okay? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I uh, todavía voy en camino hacia mi casa. Voy conduciendo, no puedo entrar. Al... Ah, okay, okay. No, no, no worries. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. And okay. um, well, they are going to be discussing. I sent the questions on the WhatsApp group, so maybe you can check them later and uh, we can discuss them later. Okay. Yes, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, thank you. Sorry, I just clicked there. Let's go and see how the groups are doing. I will come back in a second, Silvia. Real Madrid versus LA Galaxy. Then there are many players famous. Mm -hmm. Figo, Ricard Casillas, there are all the all the team and I, I was, or I had the opportunity to see that, that match, that. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wow. wow. <laughs> I don't even that, like football, but I think that's great. That's that, really great. That was maybe uh, 2011. 2011, oh my God. It was like, what, 10 years ago? Mm -hmm. Yes. Imagine. And where was it? In which country? In the U.S. In the, in the in in L.A. In okay, in Los Angeles. Good. In the Home Depot Center. <laughs> How cool! And you But, were doing what were you doing there? You were just like in a family trip, or what were you doing? Yes, just... uh, I visit family. <laughs> I I see the the match, mm -hmm. but I 
I was in the last part of the stadium. <laughs> like, oh, I see them there. <laughs> well, but you see, yes. well, you got your, your prize for being there. You see, yeah. did you did you imagine that you were going to live that experience? No, I I don't imagine and imagine at that time. And how did you feel? It's a it's a good memory. Mm -hmm. I have the the ticket. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I evidence. Yeah, like me. like an evidence. I was here. You see. <laughs> Hey, yes. how cool, how cool, Jorge, very nice. Very nice, continue. I'm going to go and check the other ones to see what they are doing, okay? okay. Thanks. Okay. No, I don't. Hey, teacher. Hi. <laughs> teacher, I have never met someone famous. Really? Yes. Nobody mm. interesting. La Ingeniera Alvarado. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mi, mi, Mr. Jose Carlos. <laughs> yeah. To, yes. I I I mean I met um, I met pardon I met um Alvaro Aguilar uh, Luis Noel in a, yes in a mall in in Guatemala. Hey, <laughs> nice. Uh, you I know take a, I take a picture with you took a picture with him. Well, uh, I haven't had the chance to meet anyone famous. Well, I met the president, Mr. Bukele. Well, now he's famous. He was not famous at that moment when I met him. But <laughs> it's like, yeah, I met I met Latenchis as well. <laughs> I had the <laughs> opportunity to be in an event with him. It's, it's Daniel, Daniel, uh, Daniel, Daniel Rooks. I saw him in the Super Selectus one day. Yeah. Let me see who else. All the all the ones from from here from the country. Uh, right? I remember I see a Tia Boo Boo in Walmart once. <laughs> <laughs> tia Boo, -boo. Yes. Me <laughs> when she was famous and not corrupted, <laughs> <laughs> and not because of that, right? When she yeah. was famous in the good way. Yes. Yeah, I remember. Uh, yeah, I met and and the thing she's. I met the thing. Yeah, I, I mean he's hilarious. I met him on a Sweet Fifteen party. Yeah, I, I, it was a very, like, the, one of these rich kids, Sweet 15, and uh, they invited him as the comedian for the for the mid-time on the party. When they were eating, he was doing a show, right? And it was hilarious, right? I, I, I had the chance to meet him. And let me see, from, like, famous people, never. I always dream that I am walking on the street and I find a, a famous person. <laughs> But it has when never I, happened. When I, when I travel to New York, mm -hmm. I, 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 I wish, uh, and I see, uh, deseaba ver a un famoso. Yes, the, the, the same thing happened to me when I went to the U.S. the first time, and I was like on the airport checking, like there in um, Miami to see if I if I see someone famous, but, but no, nah, nothing. Nothing. Solo los perros de los narcóticos. <laughs> los que salen en alerta aeropuerto. And I said like, hey, ese es el perro de alerta aeropuerto. So <laughs> that was the only famous thing that I saw. Yeah, he was smelling a bag in front of me and I was like, I am going to be in alerta aeropuerto. <laughs> my, my, my cousin uh, was in airport um, uh, Eduardo Barastegui. <laughs> Oh, really? Wow. So you see, uh, those things, I want those things to happen to me. I am going to check who, who is... The famous who I... I... ¿Cómo es la palabra? Había una pregunta que decía que famoso querías conocer. Ah, the, the next one. It's like, eh, well, who no. is the most famous person? No, 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 no. Let me see. What I... would you like to be a famous... No. Which it's like if you could have a dinner or a drink with any living person, who would you choose? Eduardo Verastegui. Eduardo, Eduardo Verastegui. Okay, keep on discussing the last ones. I'm going to go back and check the last group. Okay, I will come back in a second. Continue. 
and he has a lot of followers in all his social media. Hello. Yes. Who? 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 It's not only I met Bukele. him. Bukele. I met him. <laughs> really <teaching. laughs> yeah. okay, yes, I had I had the opportunity to work on a project with him. Really? Yes, he sponsored a project that I had because I was doing like adoption for trees. And uh, I used to have like the trees, for example, the plants, and we used to do the adoption process for you to adopt a tree and for you to put your name and everything. And we used to give a birth certificate for your tree. And the compromise or the commitment was for you to adopt the plant and for you to take care of it and to send me pictures every month of how he was growing. So that was my project. And I remember that when he was a, uh, the major of San Salvador, I asked him for donations of trees. And I asked only for, for a couple of trees, right? And he told me, mira, pero ¿cuántos querés? Me dijo, yo, unos ochenta. And I said, solo ochenta, nombre. And I said like, hey, everybody, come take Nati there on the, to the, to the nursery, <laughs> to the garden, and she can take as many as she wants. And I was like, really? <laughs> so he gave me one of these big camiones from La Alcaldía for me to get all the trees that I wanted from the vivero. And I was like a little girl there get, grabbing a lot of plants and everything. So we, we were very happy with my team. We were doing donations in San Miguel, in La Unión, in Lo Urdes, que Saltepeque. We were doing a lot of uh, a lot of planting of trees. Yeah, but he, he's a very cool guy, definitely. Yeah, besides we talking, anything, uh huh. We were talking. He is the most famous person in this country. <laughs> in this country, yeah. Because either way, if you like it or not, I mean, you know him. Yes, because yes. he he's everywhere. He's like he's really well known here in the country and also in many other countries. Yes, and he's very yes. famous. Yes, I I have a coworker from the uh, Honduras, mm -hmm. and and she and he uh, and and he told me that. In his country, uh, a lot of people talk of about him. About him, yeah. Yes. So either way, he's he's very well known. He's very famous. Yeah. Okay. Let's finish with the other questions. I'm going to go to the final group, and I will come back in a second. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Did you finish? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, okay. <laughs> Carito, ya llegó a su casa, sana y salva. Yo la vi que iba caminando. Ah, vaya, vaya. Pero va bien, tengan cuidado, tengan cuidado. Siguiendo el minuto a minuto de Carolina. <laughs> okay, I am going to send you back to the main room and we're going to discuss there together, okay? Okay, teacher. Welcome back. I have two questions for discussion when everybody comes back. Which question, teacher? What are the downsides of being famous? Uh, I, 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 remember, I remember that I met the ambassador from the US. Uh, one time she went to an event in the place where I work. And when she was going to the restroom, there was the security guard with her, behind her, right? And I was like, 
she's going to the restroom come on <laughs> and then she, she she used to say like déjame déjame entrar al baño aunque sea mi sola and the first <laughs> thing that he did was to enter to the restroom to check on the area to secure the area and he went out for her to get in and i was like oh my god <laughs> then he was on the on the door like this <laughs> waiting for her and she and i remember that when she went out she told me ay natalie nada puedo hacer a gusto <laughs> it was like those are the downsides of being famous because you yeah. cannot you cannot do anything alone there are a lot of pressure yeah there is a lot of pressure right a lot of pressure on 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 you because everybody's looking at you all the time and they know you and they see you and so you you are never alone what are other downsides of being famous what do you think are the contrary part the counterpart of being famous but for the other side uh, you only uh, be alone uh, yes you are always alone because i mean do you think that they have real friends famous people that famous people have real friends no no teacher they are just with them because of the money yes and some famous uh, people uh, try with drugs and something like that and i think is that is because they have a lot of money too and they don't know even what to do with a lot of with money. all the money that they have yes. we are here we can spend it don't worry <laughs> send it here <laughs> to group to group of intermediate four we can receive it don't worry <laughs> diana, diana diana say the paparazzi that is a big big problem Paparazzi are a big. Imagine yeah. if you are in the supermarket, they take pictures of you. Yeah. So. I think they don't have privacy because all the people wants to know them, to know about them. <laughs> and they'll watch the oh, what what happened to her? Uh, I don't know. How do you say this? Uh, se cortó en un razor. <laughs> My God. And, La tuvieron que operar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's kind of rebel. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Only that, right? Only that. Oh my God, poor her. Well, but hopefully. Almost died, but... Yeah, it was like nothing, teacher. Just got, got stuck in a razor and they had to, <laughs> to go on a surgery for her. <laughs> not the first time. It's not the first time that she does no. it. Um, no, well, for her, yes, but for my other cats, no. Y todos los gatos, hey, bienvenido, ahí hasta el razor. La iniciación es ahí. Okay, and I have another question. Um, if you could have the chance to have dinner with someone, with any living person in the world, who would you choose? Yvette, Seb? <laughs> Eduardo Verastegui. Yes. I think that I will go with, let me see. I don't know, with Adele, maybe. I just love her music. I will go with Adele. What about you? Hello, Mr. Manuel, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening, all. Talking about famous people. Yes, I know. <laughs> Let's see. I am famous. I am famous. Famous, famous. Famous. Famous, no. Okay, famous. Okay. famous. Claudia, who will you have dinner with? Alive. With? Um, I don't know. Yes. Obama. <laughs> Michelle when, Obama. When Michelle Obama. <laughs> Yvette has it there in the hasta el fondo de pantalla póngalo ahí yes. sin miedo yes. sin miedo al éxito <laughs> ok let's see eh, Mr. Juan de Dios who would you have dinner with um, I don't know <laughs> maybe uh, <laughs> 
With Messi. With Messi, right? <laughs> with Messi. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With Messi, right? We never know. We never know, right? <laughs> Everybody has different tastes. Well, my dear class, thank you very much for your answers on these questions. Like with, with Messi. <laughs> And on the inside, we do a lipa, we do a lipa. <laughs> Messy. Okay, so get into the topic. I have here a couple of definitions and a couple of words. What I need you to do is to analyze them. Analyze the different words that I have and make the match with the definition that you consider appropriate. What definition do you consider appropriate for slowly? Slow. Um, in a slow way. Good evening. <laughs> Hello, Rocio. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, slowly. Done in a slow way. Done in a slow way, right? We have it right here, right? Slowly. Something no. that it's done in a slow way. Tell me one example of someone who does the things slowly. The nurse of the. The caracol. I was. <laughs> I, I was. I was, <laughs> I was thinking on the turtles. A, I was thinking on the <laughs> yes, I, I also or maybe in, in the perezoso. <laughs> in the slot. <laughs> the nurses from the social. We love all the workers from social security. Okay, we love you a lot. Amamos a todos los trabajadores de seguro sí. I was thinking on the on the different not very right, like that it's very slow. The turtles, right, that move very slow, but turtles are very tricky. Turtles are very tricky because when they want to do something or eat something, they run, or when they want to bite you, they run. So you have to be very careful, right? It's the same thing. Illness. What is the what is the definition for illness? The state of state. being sick. The state of being sick, right? Frightful. It's a very clear one. Frightful. Full of fright. Full of fright, right? That was an easy one. But Full of teacher, fright. What is yes? the meaning of fright? Fright. It's uh, similar to fear, but in a higher level. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Fear is like, uy, me asustó. But fright is like, oh. like the day of the storm. <laughs> Como el día de la tormenta que caían los granizos. It was yes. really, it was really fright. And it was frightening. Yes, it was very horrible. Teacher, you are on mute. Yeah, I was thanking my mother for something <laughs> that I forgot to. And she was in front of me like, and I was like, sorry, I forgot. It. <laughs> yeah, they are visiting me today. That's why. What about wildly? Wildly. Done in a wild way. Done in a wild way. Tell me one example of something done in a wild way here in El Salvador. Traveling bus. <laughs> Traveling by bus. Traveling I'm on driving. a coaster, right? Driving. 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 <laughs> Shopping at the beginning of pandemic, right? Do you remember at the beginning of the pandemic? People were like, this and this and everything for Black, Black teacher Friday. shopping in a Black Friday, right? Shopping in the, the Black first, Friday. The first Black Friday. The first Black Friday. I mean, people went running over other people. No, come on. It's like okay. that was frightful. That was frightful. <laughs> I felt frightened that day. What about careless? Don't fool me with care. Mm, careless. No, no, no. Without, without care. care. Without yeah. care, without right? Care. Something done without care. It's like ah, like that. It's okay, right? That you don't really care how you are doing something, right? What about carefully? Okay. Don't fool with care. Don't fool with care. 
done Before. fully with care carefully it's like when you when you take something in a very careful way and you move it yeah. right so that it's carefully what about happiness the state of being happy right that it's happiness tell me something that causes you happiness something that causes you happiness well, some, uh -huh. some some people or somebody give me a present for my birthday okay when you receive presents to cool. a which one traveling traveling good very good what else causes you happiness eat to my eat family. my family Money. <laughs> Okay, when you eat your favorite food, right? And when you eat, indeed. Eating. Eat, eating. Eating, eating pupusas. <laughs> Winning okay. the lottery. Winning the lottery. Well, payday. Payday is a cause of happiness. What about quickly? Mm. Done in a quick way. Done in a quick way, right? Quickly is to be done in a quick way. It's like... Fast, fast, fast. Do you like things to, to be done quickly or slowly? Quickly. Yes. Quickly. For yesterday, you said. What about kindness? Uh, stay of being kind. The state of being kind. The state of being kind, right? The state of being kind. And helpless? Without, without, help. without yeah. help. Without right? help. Like when you do the platform, right? Without help. You do it on your own. Okay, very good job. Very good job on the definitions. And here I have most of these examples that I have here are examples of suffixes, right? So you say slowly, carefully, illness, happiness, frightful, quickly, wildly, kindness, careless, and helpless, right? As we have here in the examples, for example, here you have careless. Less, that means that it's not done with care. Helpless, that it's not done with help. Say so happiness is a state of being happy. Illness is a state of being sick, right? Slowly, right? That it's the suffix for the adverb, carefully quickly right kindness is the state of being kind right while the is the state of doing the things in a wild way and frightful it's full of something right full of fright here you say beautiful full of beauty right so you have here the different suffixes as an example on the ones that we are going to study today. Let's go deep on the topic, but I am going to call the attendance first before I go into the grammar part, okay? I have many of you here now. Okay, let's start here. I have Carolina Yamilet. Present teacher. Claudia Maria. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. Diana Elizabeth. Uh, what happened with Dianita? She was just here. Ah, she's there. She's there. <laughs> she she ran away. Jorge Humberto. Present. Jose Carlos. Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Nelson Gabarrete. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marleni. Present teacher. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz. Present. Silvia Zuleima. She's driving. Eh, Tatiana Michelle. Present teacher. Bill Maivet. Present. Thank you. Thank you, Silvia. 
Marlene Nicole, she was having problems with the internet. Omar Francisco. And Danny Anthony, that it's here, but we cannot listen to Danny. Let's continue working then. Thank you very much for the attendance. Anyway. Sorry, teacher, I'm here. <laughs> yes, I, I marked it. Like that. Sorry. Don't worry, don't worry. I marked you already, right? That was the part of the attendance. So, as I told you, we're going to study a little bit of the roots, the prefixes, and the suffixes. And in these ones are the words that, or the, the parts of a speech that you add to a word, right? Say happiness, powerful, unfriendly. The root word of this is happy, right? You can say happily, happiness, and you change for sure. When you transform it into happiness, you are going to... To do it with I. The main word, it's power. You say powerful, right? Friend, unfriendly, or friendly, right? But you have the main word when it comes from all the different roots and the suffixes. The prefix, what is a prefix, people? Can you help me to read the definition? A prefix is placed at the beginning a word, word modify or change kind of its meaning. meaning. Okay, a prefix is placed at the beginning, right? And the suffix is placed at the end. At the, at end, the end, right? Very good, at the end. And here we have some of the most common prefixes. Some of the most common prefixes that we have in English are the ones that I am presenting here. You say anti, right? Antifreeze, for example. Because you use it for you to avoid the freeze, right? Anti-freeze. D. In the case of D, you can have defrost, for example. That it's the opposite of something that it's freezing. You defrost it. Como descongelar. This, in this case, it means not or the opposite of. You say disagree. Right? It's the opposite. Or to say something, no. Right? Disappointed, right? What about the next one? N or M is the cause to encode and embrace, right? Embrace is when you put something on your arms, right? For, that means before, right? Forecast. Forecast. It's like when you check, when you check on the weather, right? El, eh, how, how do you call this? It's like predicción del tiempo, forecast. You can also have in and im, right? In field, you can also have impossible, right? And in these ones, right, you have also the ear one that they mean not. Injustice, impossible, right? They mean not. What about intern? It's between, right? Interact, intermediate, right? What about mid? It means the middle of something. Midway. Miss means wrongly, misfire, misunderstand, misunderstood, right? And none, that means not, nonsense, sin sentido, right? Nonsense. The next ones that I have here, also as prefixes, we have the one that says over. Over, in this case, means over, and it's overlook when you look at something just on the top. Pre, that means before, a prefix, right? Because it's going to fix a word, a prefix. Like pre-intermediate, before the intermediate, right? Re, again, return, again. resign, reread, right? Semi, that means half, semicircle. Sub, that means under, submarine, sub-principal, sub-manager, right? That it's under someone. What about super? That it means above, superstar. Trans, that means across, transport. And the last one that we have here, it's un, that means not, unfriendly. Right? Those are some of the most common prefixes that we have. What about, what about the suffixes? What are suffixes here? It says, 
Suffixes are groups of letters attached to the end of the root and the root words and group words. Suffixes can also modify and extend meaning, right? They are going to change the meaning of the word. And some of the most common ones that we have, besides from all the ones that Manuel sent on the chat, good, very good job, right? Ahí tienen un montón de ejemplos más en el chat. Nos los envió Manuel en la tarde. Some of the most common ones that we have here are able, able, right? That can be done in a specific way. Comfort, comfortable, right? Comfortable. All and yell, having characteristics of, right? Person, personal. ED, right? It's the past tense of many of the verbs, right? Hoped, yeah. hoped. What about the next one? Can you help me to read the next ones? And made of wooden. In that case, okay. you say and made of wood. In this case, it's the, the suffix n is like made of. Wooden. And wood is madera. And wooden is like the madera, right? Yes. What about the next one? ER. Comparative. It's a comparative form, right? And it says high, higher, higher. Also, ER represents one who, the one who. In this one, we have all the different professions, right? The one who works, right? It's a worker. The one who acts is an actor or actress, right? The one who bakes is a, a baker. What about the one who teach? Teacher. It's a teacher. The one who cares. The one who takes care of people. The doctor. A <laughs> doctor. Well, it's a care, right? The person who takes care of someone. It's the the care the care person. What about the caretaker? It's called caretaker. Es como un cuidador, como cuando nos dejaban niñera, right? The caretaker. But ER means the one who does something, right? EST, what about this comparative that we have here? EST, like Big. biggest. Big. In this case, Big. it's not a comparative, it's a superlative, sorry. Superlative. Superlative, whoosh, I'm going to erase that one. That's superlative. It's the biggest, right? Full, it's full of something, right? Careful, full of care. Ick having characteristics of, linguistic, right? ING, it's the verb form present participle. Running, run, running. Like eat, eating, right? And you add this suffix. Young, shun, Asian, Asian. Act or process. Occasion, attraction, right? It is not chong, okay? It's a occasion attraction, right? ED and T, ED and T, it's the state of, right? Infinity. It's the state of being infinitive. And I have some extra suffixes here. These ones that are if, ative, itive. The adjective form of the noun, right? Plantative, competitive, less it's without what I was explaining you before in the examples, right? Fear less, that it has less fear or without fear. And the LY is the characteristics of quickly, beautifully, carefully. Meant is an action or process. Enjoy meant, right? Ness, it's a state or condition, kindness. Us, use, and eyes, it's the possessing of qualities or joyous, right? Gorgeous. It has the quality of being beautiful. S or ES, more than one. Books, boxes, right? This is the plural form of the words. They count with a suffix to transform them into plurals. And in the case of the letter S, we use it in the third person singular. When you add the S to the verb and you transform it into third person. And the Y, 
characterized characterized by happy right it's the i at the end of the word okay so in this case the suffixes it's just a matter of for you to identify because now when you see them you say like hey i have been using them all the time hoy que los ven ya dicen hey si los he estado ocupando todo este tiempo the suffixes on the adjectives on the third person singular on the present yes. continuous on the verbs right you have been using the suffixes all the time now just for us to work a little bit our brain, we're going to work on this exercise. I need you to take notes of all the different professions that you can find there. Take notes. No le vayan a soplar a los demás porque si no ya. So, ah, sí, ya la vi. Look for all the different professions that you can find there. Don't say it, don't say it. Monsters, I know that's not a profession. <laughs> Okay, analyze it, analyze it. There are a lot of professions there. Did you find them? I, I, I think so. How many do you have? I think so too. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven? <laughs> wow. Well, that's cool. Yeah, very, twelve. very nice. Yeah. How many do you have, Diana? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 So. Let's see, let's see. I am going to give you one more minute for all the rest to finish. And we're going to find them. Tell me one profession that you have found. Chef. Yeah. Chef. Builder. Builder. 
builder in the model <laughs> okay here you have model good you have model here let me find a yeah. model fire firefighter firefighter fire. 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 taxi driver taxi driver right taxi yes. driver taxi driver the builder, builder. Teacher. Teacher. teacher where is the teacher teacher here. teacher, teacher. teacher. doctor the Aris. postman, yes. Armen. Armen. Okay. Doctor. Wait, 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 wait. The doctor. Doctor. Policeman. Uh -huh. Where is the farmer? Policeman. Ah, Policeman. 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 Nurse. Farmer. Policeman. Nurse. 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 The nurse. Nurse. Ari. Ari. Artist. Artist. Good. Artist. The artist. Artist. And. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh my God. I only have that. Okay, so you will see. <laughs> Guess. 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 Okay, yes, we have, we have, we have those, right? Yes, we don't have more. Well, at least those were the ones that I, that I mark. Okay. Now, with the ones that we have, I need you to choose three and create three sentences with them. But I need complete sentences, not only like, I am a teacher, no, right? A complete sentence, a complete sentence. For example, it's like, I have an uncle who lives in the United States and he's a chef, right? That's a complete sentence, right? Not only I am a chef, no. Choose three and write a complete, a complete sentence with them. Go ahead. Ay, lo que los la. No, no se enferma. Ah, pues no que no los lave. Ay, déjelo, ay, déjelo. <laughs> One day, I remember that I said to my mom. It was like, no, mamá, no, lave los trastes ahora que está enfermo. Ahí los lava mañana. <laughs> she, was being, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was like, she was like, I was like, oh, 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 valió la pena. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Write your sentences, please. Yes. It can be original sentences, right? You can invent the sentence. As long as you use the word that you choose there. Okay, when you finish them, raise your hand because all of you are going to read your sentences.
Okay, Rocio says, my mom is a teacher for kids. I am very proud of her because she enjoys spending time with kids, right? Spending. That's a very difficult profession, Rocio. To work with kids. <laughs> but they, they are very obedient. That's the good thing. Like if you say, sit down, they sit down. Stand up, they stand up. <laughs> Yeah, it's been yeah, yeah. It's and she fun. also has vision. That's the most important one, right? To to be patient with the kids because they love to talk a lot. La gente... Quedarsele yeah, and my mom loves seeing with kids, yeah. play with, with la, them. La she enjoys her profession. No, okay. I, I'm very proud of her. I imagine. And is your father a teacher as well? No. <laughs> okay, only your mom. That's cool. No, only my mom. <laughs> okay, good. Let's see. Who else has the information ready? Who has the sentences ready? Manuel says, my teacher is a great person because she motivates me to grow and teaches me the English language. Oh, what a cute sentence. It says, like, my teacher is a great person because, right, B-E-C-A-U-S-E, -E, right, because she motivates me to grow and she, she, right, and she, teaches me the English language, right? And she teaches me the English language. Let's correct that one. What about the next ones? If you don't have them on the chat, you can read them as well. Don't worry. Okay. I, the first one, the teacher told me that I improved my English this week. The second one, the postman gave me a letter from my uncle that living in Europe. Okay, the postman gave me, gave, gave me, me a letter from my uncle who lives in who Europe, lives. who lives, right? Because that's a third person form, right? Who lives in Europe. Any that's other one? one. Uh -huh. The policeman captured the bad guys of my city. Now I can live peacefully. Okay, the police captured all the bad guys in my city. Very good. Jocelyn is an artist. She draws, she draws with S, very nice and similar to Da Vinci. Oh, wow. Nice, Silvia. Is it true? If it's true, let's take advantage of that talent. <laughs> it's just an example. <laughs> Okay, I have from Diana, I have three examples. The teacher is really good at her job. She knows how to teach and keep and keep the class interesting, right? And keeps because you are using the third person. The doctors are very intelligent. In this case, intelligent cannot be plural, right? You have intelligent. And it says the doctors are very intelligent, intelligent people who learn a lot and save life with their knowledge. Yes, Carita? Uh, the doctor works very efficiently. The doctor works very efficiently. The doctor works very efficiently. efficiently. Or if it is plural, you say the doctors work. The doctor works. Okay. Firefighters, firefighters in plural, are brave and I admire the job they do, they do. Let's see, my English teacher is the best because she enjoys to learn with us. That she enjoys to learn with us. The artist made his last performance on Friday night. Good, uh, remember Friday with capital, okay? Juan de Dios sent another one. Become a doctor is very difficult. You need to study a lot every day. Becoming, right? Becoming a doctor. Because if you use become at the beginning of the sentence, it's becoming, right? Becoming a doctor. Let's see the next one. Nelson, my boss is a veterinary doctor. He loves pets a lot. He's a person intelligent. It says, my boss is a veterinary doctor. He loves pets a lot. He is a very intelligent person, right? He is a very intelligent person. 
right? That it's something important. Change the sentence. When my sister was five years, she wanted to be a doctor. Good. My teacher is a great person because she motivates me to grow and she teaches me the English language. Very good job. English with capital. The next one, Olga Marleni. The nurse did not come because she got sick. She called her boss. Very good job. Jorge says, next module, we miss the teacher because she won a prize in the US. <laughs> the next module with E, the next module, we will miss. We will miss, porque eso es lo que va a pasar en el futuro. We will miss the teacher because, B E C A U, right? Because she won a prize in the US. Very good job. The farmer sells to supermarket fresh vegetable. Okay, lo que hacíamos ayer en la clase. The farmer sells what? Fresh vegetables, where? To the supermarket. Okay, let's change that one. The farmer has raised many chickens and ducks for food. Ay, poor patitos. They are going to be food soon. You see, that is the benefit of reading the sentences on the chat. Okay, ese es el beneficio de leer sus oraciones. Ahí les puedo ir haciendo sus cambios necesarios. And that was very good. Okay. And now that I corrected many of them, right, I'm going to wait for someone else to send because it was very good. Okay, change, change the, the, the parts that I mentioned. And in this one, I am going to go over it. I'm going to ask each of you to read at least one from the ones that you have. Yvette, can you read one? Um, uh, and the last year, I met a handsome policeman in a, in a New Jersey station. <laughs> okay. It, it was not here in the country, right? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in New Jersey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So you met a handsome policeman. Very good. Olga Marlene, read one. Um, the chef has prepared, pre prepared the specialty of the house and has sold a lot. Hey, that's good. The chef has prepared the specialty of the house and he has sold a lot. Juan de Dios, go ahead. Um, the model will be careful with her body to okay. drive uh -huh. her Okay, the model will be careful with her body. Definitely. Diana Elizabeth, read one. Uh, the teacher is really good at her job. She knows how to teach and keeps the class interesting. Very good job. Jorge, go ahead. Uh, in this country, the policeman makes a good job to keep the security nation. Okay, to keep the nation safe, you say. The nation safe. Safe. Good. Tatiana, go ahead. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to dream become a famous model in the whole world. With the time, I changed my mind. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, Conocí el pan de dulce y pasaron cosas. ¿sí? Me fregué la rodilla. ¿sí? Ya, yeah, yeah. yo iba a ser basquetbolista, pero la rodilla y uno. Manuel, go ahead. I don't like las tortas mexicanas. Yes. I don't like to work like a taxi driver because they work in a complicated situation. They work in a complicated schedule, right? I think they have a very difficult life. I know. Yeah. So we're traveling from here to there. Carito, go ahead. Teacher, uh, that that artists work and creates things, things uh, beautiful, beautifully. Okay, that artist works and creates things beautifully. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Beautifully. Beautifully. Linda Yvette, go ahead. The taxi 
taxi driver took us to the appointment on time. The taxi driver took us to the appointment on time. Very good, Norma Carolina. The police captured a famous criminal. The police captured a famous criminal. <laughs> okay, Nelson, go ahead. Hello. Give me one of your sentences. La que mandé en el chat. It's okay, yeah, or any other one. Ah. Cualquiera de las tres. Ah, eran tres, ¿no? Ah. <laughs> Que somos tres. Oh, sorry, solo una. <laughs> okay, you read the sorry. one that you sent on the chat. It's okay. Okay, my boss is a veterinary a doctor. He loves pets a lot. He's a person important. He is an important person, right? What about he is an important person? Let me see. Rocio, are you there? If not, Claudia. Okay. Yes. The postman gave me a letter from my uncle who lives in Europe. Okay, now it was corrected. Very good job. Rocio Veronica. I just do one but because <laughs> I was in the because you were in the car. Me. Don't worry, yeah. don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> the one about yeah. your mother Let being me. a teacher. It's ah, okay. the, the first one. Okay. Um, okay, with the question that you made. Uh, my mom is a teacher for kids. I, I am very proud of her because she enjoys spending time with kids. Very good job. <clears throat> okay, so as you can see, here you have a very simple example, right? And from one very simple example, you can do many more things, right? Many more things. Like in this case, we use it to create sentences, right? De una palabra, lo usamos para crear oraciones. Con una palabra podemos crear una descripción, un párrafo, una idea, una historia, right? From one little word. And you can get more ideas there. The chef, can you describe the work of a chef? Well, the chef works every day. They work in a restaurant. They do many things, right? Where do the taxi driver work? Uh -huh. Where do taxi drivers work? On the street. Also. On the street. What about the firefighters? Where there is a fire. When there is a fire, right? What about the builders? Mm, on construction. On construction places, right? What about the teachers? The classroom. In the academy, in a high school, in a place, right? What about the farmers? In the field. In the field, right? On the farm. <laughs> <laughs> on the farm as well, right? What about the nurse? Where does she work? In the hospital. In the hospital. In the hospital. Very good. The policeman? On the police station, some of them in an office, the right? Some of them on the street. The, city. Right? the action. On the city where the action is happening. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. What about the doctor? On the hospital. In the hospital, right? Or in their private in, clinic, right? In the clinic. Very good. So here we have some other definitions of the ER used to create professions and occupations, right? Here, what is the name of a person who plays golf? Golfist. It's a golfist or a gold? Field. Golfer. Golfer. A paint, Golfer. the person who paints, it's a paint? Painter. Painter, Painter right? The person who manages the building, the office, manager. the place. Manager. Manager. The manager. manager. In this case, you don't add the ER. You don't say the manager. It's manager. Okay. The person who teaches, it's a teacher. teacher. A teacher. teacher. What about the person who drives? A driver. A driver, a driver right? We have a driver. The person who bakes. It's a baker. Baker. The person who works in the garden. Gardener. Gardener. The person who cleans the house. 
Cleaner. Cleaner. It's cleaner. a cleaner. The person who smokes. Smoker. Smoker. A smoker, right? Smoker. And in the restaurant, we have a no smoking area, right? The person who explores the world. Explorer. Explorer. The person who owns something. El dueño de algo. Owner. It's the owner. The owner. owner. What about the person who babysits? Babysitter. Babysitter, right? The babysitter. The babysitter is the one who takes care of the little babies, right? And the next one, here we have, I, I have to move my camera. The person who swims a lot. Swimmer. A swimmer. A swimmer. What about the person who writes in a blog? A blogger. A blogger with double G, I think it has a double G. A blogger. The person who starts something, it's a beginner. Beginner. And someone who attacks a person, the attacker, right? The person who attacks someone else. Now, with these words that we have here, right? Pay attention to them because we are going to use them. With these words that we have here, we are going to complete the sentences, okay? That I am going to show you in a second. Let's repeat the professions that we have here. We say golfer. Golfer. Painter. Painter. Manager. Manager. Teacher. Manager. Teacher. Driver. Baker. Baker. Gardener. Garden. Garden. Cleaner. 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 Smoker. Smoker. Explorer. Explorer. But here the explorer without the ER. Owner. 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 Babysitter. Babysitter. Swimmer. 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 Blogger. Beginner. Beginner. Attacker. 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 Attacker, right? With these ones, you are going to complete the following sentences, right? I am going to send you back to your groups and you are going to use one of the definitions that we have there for you to complete the sentence. I have here the first one done. It says, I work in a bakery and I bake, and I bake bread. I am a baker. The next one says, Sam really wants to be a... When he grows up, he likes to teach people. He's he going to be, be a teacher. A teacher, okay? So that's what you're going to go with your group. I need you to read the sentences. I need you to analyze them. And I need you to put one of the professions on each of them. Okay? So, a screenshot. So I can a screenshot of Pantaya, please. There you go. Screenshot. Screenshot. Siempre salgo con los ojos cerrados, por eso les aviso. Screenshot. Sí, en todos los screenshots ahí ando con los ojos cerrados. Ready, teacher. Ready. Ready, guys. Yes. yes. Okay, let's go to the groups right now. Okay, I'm going to send you to your groups back. And, teacher. Yes. Help me uh, one group, please. Yes, I am going to add you right now. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, there you go. I am going to add you here. Don't worry. Okay, go to your groups right now. And here we go. Okay, go to your groups and complete the sentences. I'm going to give you seven minutes for this. There you go, accept my invitation. Thank you, thank you. Manuel, did you receive my invitation? Yes. And Mr. Miguel, did you receive the invitation to go with the group? Thank you. And Danny, you are here with me.
Okay, in this exercise, students are going to practice adding the suffix er to the words and they are going to complete the sentences. So let's go and check how they are going to be doing this exercise in little groups. Let's go and see. Yes, Manuel, what happened? Hello, did you? Okay. Tuve un problema con la conexión. Ahorita, estaba en el grupo. Dos, de tres. Tatiana, el tres. Number tres. Okay, number three. Yes, I'm going to send you right now. Go ahead. Sorry. Don't worry. Number four is number five is cleaner. Number six Number eight is Number nine. Hello, teacher. Hi. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, good. Did you have problems with any of them? Any meaning? Any new word, new vocabulary? Number nine and number ten is uh, a little difficult, but I think. Which one did you add there? Uh, number nine. Uh -huh, number nine, huh? Beginner. Beginner, good. And number ten? Painter. Painter. The Dutch painter. Very good job. Yes, indeed, it was like that. Those were the most challenging one. I will I will check if the last group finished and we're going to go back. Okay. Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. we finished. Any difficulty with any of them? Any no. Any difficulty? New words or new vocabulary? No, you know all, all of it. Okay, so if you don't have any further question, we're going to go back and we're going to check it as a team. Let's go back and see.
Hello, hello. Okay, we're going to work on the sentences. Thank you very much for sharing with your groups. Let me see, I am going to assign different people one sentence and you can give me the answer. Mr. Manuel, can you give me number two? Sam really wants to be a teacher when he grows, grows. He likes grows to up people. when he grows, grows up. up. Grows up when he he likes to teach people. He likes to teach people. Good, Niana, number three. I am not a great golfer, but I like to golf on weekends. Very good job, Norma Carolina, number four. David Livingstone was a famous British. Um, explorer. Explorer. He explored parts of Africa. Very good job. Yvette, number five. Uh, my mother likes to blog about restaurants in our city. He is a blogger. Okay, my brother likes to blog about restaurants in our city. He is a blogger. Juan de Dios, number six. Number six. Our windows looks dirty. Let's have a um, cleaner to come and wash them. Very good job. Number seven, Olga Marleni. I like growing flowers and plants. Maybe I'll learn how to be a gardener. Very good job. Claudia Maria, number eight. Michael Phelps is a famous swimmer who swam in the 2012 Olympic Games. Very good job. Number nine, Tatiana. Uh, this is my first time to study Spanish. I am a learner. A learner, good. Or I am a student. A student, uh -huh, a beginner, beginner, right? A beginner. Ah, beginner too. Number 10, Jorge Humberto, go ahead. Uh, the, the Dutch paint, painter Vince Van Gogh painted many great works of art. Very good job, my dear class. Excellent answers, excellent answers. Very good job. Okay, <laughs> there you have your Kaiser <laughs> saying hello. Alejelo de los razors, por favor. <laughs> Look at Manuel. Manuel has the, the little pet there. Okay, so in this one, as we have been studying the different forms and the different sentences, I am going to ask you to read the sentence, to read the option, and to give me the best answer for each of them. It is very complicated, you will see. The employees want the... The manage or the manager? The manager. Manager. The to manager. Organize. To organize, manager. Oh, to organize the inventory. Manager. The inventory. And what about the next one? They distribute or they distribute the products all around the country. Distribute. They distribute. Distribute. They distribute. Si the distributor, yes. The distributor takes the products to all the country, right? But they, you need a verb after, they distribute. What about number three? Inventory counts provide reassurance to the? Manufacturers. Manufacturers, very good. The accuracy of the inventory can influence the stock requirements by a? Retailer. Retailer. Retail, retail store. Yeah. Retail, retail, right? Store. Retailers, yeah. it's not yeah. possible because you have no. a. Como tienen, como tienen a, no puede ser retailers porque es plural, yes. right? A retailer mm -hmm. store, yes, individual, right? 
the supply or the supplier needs us to keep track of how much product supplier. is left. Supplier. 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 The supplier, right? It is very common that in all the professions you have the before, the teacher, the doctor, the nurse, the postman, the firefighter, right? It's very common to have the, right? You say the employees want the manager, right? The manager. The manufacturer, as you can see here, right? It has the at the beginning, right? And so like the teacher is teaching us English, right? It's very common to have the before the ER forms of this type of suffix. And here I am going to show you in a little conversation that we have. Let's go to our book. Right here. Hoy sí lo compartí, ¿no? Como ayer que estaba emocionada leyendo y no lo he Y ayer, usted, lean, bicho, lean, que no es que... No, estaba compartiendo. <laughs> Sorry. Page number... Page number... Let's 30, see. 39. 37. 37. Page 37. number 37. Okay. And we are about to finish the book. <laughs> ah, the circle count inventory, because this is what we did right now. Okay, the suffixes. Okay, here we have a little conversation, right? And it's in this conversation, we have different suffixes, like the manufacturer, and manager, right? And, teacher? Yes? I'm sorry. Uh, before the, the conversation, the attendance? Ah. After? <laughs> <laughs> after the conversation, right? Okay. I'm going to do it after. I am going to miss Manuel on the next module, right? ¿Quién me va a acordar de la asistencia en el otro módulo? Me, teacher. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> I am going to, to bring you back just to, to remind me about it. So we have Steve and Anna, and it says, it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where could I find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Ha. Huh. So that's why they didn't find the products because they were misplaced, right? Another prefix, misplaced. Practice with me. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks. It says, it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. It says here in the Do you have any idea where could I find them? Do you have any idea where could I find them? Where could I? That's it says. That's what it says. Where could I find them? Ahí es donde pruebo si están leyendo o si están repitiendo nada más. Ajá, los cachetes. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Do you have any idea Two hundred wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. Let me see if I can find any record here. Okay, the difference between record and record is like when you record, you are taking a video of something, right? Record. Record is anything that you have uh, attached, anything that you have saved, right? Algo guardado, right? Record. Something filed, exactly like that. 
The order was from the people who manufacture tables. The order was from the people who manufacture By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. Okay, the complete sentence. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. I see the problem. The, problem. the 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. The 200 and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. The, wrong dock. the complete wrong sentence. Dock. The 200 wooden ports were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. In the round dock. Very dock. good job. The dock is like the, the place where they where they put it, right? In el contenedor. Let's see. Boys, you are Steve and all of us ladies, we are Anna. Okay? In this case, I am going to have Manuel, I am going to have Juan de Dios, I am going to have Jorge, Nelson, Miguel Angel, Omar Francisco, right? As Steve, and all the ladies are going to be Anna. Okay. <clears throat> Action. It's a here. here. Okay. <clears throat> again, again. Ahí pongámonos de acuerdo, de hecho. Action. It's a here. We have 200 Ladies, go ahead. Do action. I remember got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. Boys, action. The order was from the manager. Okay, ladies, go ahead. One, two, three, action. I see the, the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants. And it seems the grade was placed in the wrong dock. <laughs> I will give you 100% to both of you. A couple of, yeah, clap, 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 claps for everybody. That was very good. That was very good. A little bit chopped, but it's okay. Recuerden, chicos, para cuando vayamos a leer las oraciones más adelante, vamos para avanzado. Aquí ya no podemos leer chopped. Ya no podemos leer así como chop chopeado. ¿verdad? <risa> Recuerden que las pausas en las lecturas se hacen en, los, en las puntuaciones. La coma es una breve pausa y el punto es una pausa completa. Entonces, si solo hay una coma, usted tiene que seguir leyendo en orden, right? It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks y una pausa breve. But I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where could I find them? Right? For you to give the correct intonation. 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. You stop. By the way, stop. The manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. 
stop. But I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. Hacemos una pausa. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, that's for you to read in a better way. In any type of reading, you are going to follow the same process. Okay, now, boys, you are Steve and ladies, you are Anna. Read correctly. Okay, vamos a leer con las pausas requeridas, con buena entonación y todo. Okay, one, two, three. Boys. Ladies. Two hundred. They were the from the people on the table. By the way, manager is also as by the liberal from China. I can't find them either. Ladies. I see the problem. I see the problem. Very good job. You see, it was a lot better, right? It was a lot better with the correct intonation, the correct pauses, the correct reading form. That was very good. Very awesome. Excellent. So, attendance before everything. Chan, chan, chan. Attendance for the night. Here I go, here I go, here I go. Here we have Carolina Yamilet. Present. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Christian Natalie. She couldn't come. Diana Elizabeth. Here teacher. Jorge Humberto. Present teacher. Jose Carlos. Jose Rodrigo. Juan de Dios. Present teacher. Linda Yvette. Present teacher. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nelson Gavarrete. Don't worry, don't worry. Present teacher. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Olga Marlene. Present. Rocío Verónica. Present. Rosa Beatriz Silvia Suleima Present teacher Tatiana Michelle Present teacher Bill Maivet Present Marlene Nicole Omar Francisco Present And Danny Anthony Okay, very good job so now we're going to move in the last exercise that we have for the night, right? And in this one, here we have, what is Steve, what item is Steve looking for? Uh, what bread. item is Steve bread. looking for? Steve is looking for 200 planks of 200 wooden planks. Very good job. Very good job, Carolina. Complete answers. That's fantastic. Right? Steve is looking for 200 wooden planks. And who placed an order for the wooden boards? The order was from the people who tables. Okay, very good. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. Very good job. And why was Steve not able to find the items in the warehouse? Because the crate was placed in the wrong box. Because the 200 wooden board were recorded as 20 wooden plants in the wooden dock. And the box was placed on the wrong dock. Exactly like that. Because they had the products in the incorrect place, right? They had the products in the incorrect position. 
and so that's why they couldn't find them. And this situation happens when you don't organize the products in a very good way in your warehouse, right? Or in the place where you place the objects. This is what we were studying today, right? What we developed in the class, the different suffixes and the prefixes, right? The different verbs and the nouns that we were using, right? The nouns, uh, here in this case, we have the manufacturer, manufacturer, supply, supplier, distribute, distributor, manage, manager, retail, retailer, wholesale, wholesaler, sell, seller. And this was the exercise that we did in class, right? This was the exercise that we did before with the manager, the distributor, the manufacturer, right? And tomorrow, we are going to work a little bit on the following topic. Let me show it to you here. We have, okay, right here. This is the topic that we're going to cover tomorrow as it is one of the last ones. What, why should you use cycle counts? What is a cycle count? It's a type of inventory that you do in the middle of the year or before the end of the year. In many of the cases, in the different places, they do the inventory process at the end of the year, right? And they say, how much do we have? How many products do we have? How many products are left? And then many of the places have a lot of difficulties because they cannot find the things. And they say, hey, it says that we have 100 markers and we only have two, right? What happened with the other ones? Uh, to the pocket of the teacher. Hmm. What happens with the other markers? Huh? They disappear. So like, it says here in the inventory that we have 20 packages of bags, but we only have one or two. What happened with the other ones? Where did they place them, right? So the cycle counts are the ones that help during the year for you to have this partial physical counts. And at the end of the year, when you do the complete inventory, you don't have this type of issues because you organize the products, you organize the counts, and you organize the process of the inventory for the end of the year. So what are they useful for? They are more manageable at the moment of doing it. They can be focused on high value items or categories. The targets for thieves. In any place, it can happen, right? That they say like, ay, qué bonito teléfono, hay 40, no se van a dar cuenta de este. And they just take the things. If they work, for example, uh, I don't know, in the hospital, and they say, ah, tienen 20 trajes de estos, me voy a llevar unos cuantos. <laughs> Para la casa. And it helps you to prevent from thieves. Right, And it helps you to find errors in your inventory because the quantities are going to be uh, accurate at the end of the year. So we're going to speak a little bit about the cycle counts tomorrow in class. That will be one of our final topics. I think even when we missed a class this week, we're going to do the evaluation tomorrow. So I will really ask you please to be on time in the class because I don't really know what time we're going to have the evaluation assigned and we're going to cover that one, okay? This is the final part that we have and after this we only have the reading for Monday and we finish our module, okay? So my dear class, I am going to stay if any of you has any further question. And if you don't have any other question, I am going to see you tomorrow for the next class. Okay, have a beautiful night. If you have any question or anything that I can help you with, I am going to stay here for 10 minutes. Okay, have a good, good night. night, my dear class. Good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Teacher? Yes, Mr. Marl. Uh, thank you. What happened if uh, if I did the 
the valuation. The, yes. <laughs> the same the, thing happened to Diana. Yes, it's just because uh, I don't, I didn't idea because the in the chat. So please complete. Forget. Please complete. The same thing happened to Diana, but I think that we are going to to do it again tomorrow because they are going to record the answers. Uh, for the class. I mean, as they are going to do it uh, with us, they are going to do it all together. And I am going to go in the one by one, step by step, right? Uh, I think they are going to record all the ones that we do in class. Oh, okay. okay. They are going to take that answer, but it, the rest, I think there is no problem if you already mm -hmm. recorded, but they count the one that it's for the whole class. Uh, okay. Okay, so it's going to be individual anyway, but keep your information ready because you're going to copy and paste the the different questions and the answers, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Teacher. You're welcome, Manuel. Have Bye. a beautiful night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Hello, Danny. If you can listen to me, please answer the messages that I have sent to the WhatsApp chat, please. Thank you. Well, that's all for today. Have a beautiful night. Bye-bye.